Hi guys and welcome to day three. Hope you guys are doing well. As for me, I am tired. Same as yesterday. Energy all day, feeling great after I ate, and then five o'clock rolls around and I've got the two o'clock feeling. It could be my body's in detox. It could be because it's like a big difference from how I was eating before, meaning like well, not that big. I was trying to cut down on fats, but still, it is a big difference because I'm having no fat and it's just potato. So maybe my body's just going through it and hopefully in a few weeks, it'll get over it. And also, um, if you continue watching, you're going to see that I made hash brown waffles with the waffle machine. I loved how it tasted, but... For convenience, the Trader Joe's bag, uh, the hash brown shredded hash brown, sorry, I'm all over the place. Um, it's oil free, which is awesome. But I ended up liking the way I made it the time before with boiled potatoes, then ricing it, then putting it in the waffle machine. I know it's like a process. If you've got time, do that. But if you're in a hurry, the Trader Joe's shredded um, hash will work. And it's just, it's just a change it up. It's crunchy and then mashed potato-y in the middle. Um, I love crunchy food, so it works for me. And what else do I want to say about today? I don't know. I'm so tired. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, tomorrow I will have something new that I randomly did today, and it tasted so good. But I'll save that for tomorrow. I give you guys a little bit at a time. Today was the potato waffles. That was the cool thing I discovered. Um, yeah, so if you like what you're watching and you're enjoying, please share, like, subscribe, and all that good, good, good. All right, see you guys tomorrow. Bye. One thing I wanted to add is by boiling my potatoes and then putting them through the ricer, and like basically I picked three potatoes and put it in a container and riced it and I meal prepped that way. I found it so much easier to enjoy my cold potatoes because it's not like this big chunk of potato. It's more like ricey and so when I sprinkled a little bit of salt, I was able to get it all over and mix it really well versus eating the big chunks. I, I just don't like it like that. And I did want to say about my salt intake today. That was bad. Well, whatever. It is what it is. I had two tablespoons, not table, teaspoons, teaspoons of salt. And that was because of dinner, because I used sriracha and I used a little bit of, what is it called, tomato paste. And they both have salt in them. But you know what? I'm doing my best. It is what it is. I'm sure before this, I wasn't counting how many teaspoons of salt I was having. At least it's two and not way more. It could be worse. All right. Well, that's the end of my spiel, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey, guys. Remember yesterday I said I was going to show you guys something cool that I discovered on YouTube? few people have done it here it is um, to make my life a little easier I bought this hash browns from Trader Joe's and as you can see it has no oil so I'm gonna season these and then put them in a waffle maker and pray that I don't burn them because I don't know I haven't played around with like how hot these can get before they burn so it's going to be trial and error right now. Right now I have it on three because four and five are pretty hot. I've tried it with regular like me boiling the potato and ricing it. And I had to have it on five in order to get that crispiness. So this is my first time trying it with the hash brown, the shredded hash brown. So I'll show you guys what happens. So in here I have dried chives and dill black pepper and a fourth of a teaspoon of salt and I'm gonna mix it up and that's pretty much it for the seasoning I'm gonna keep it pretty simple and then put it in there
Wish me luck, guys. Just wanted to show you guys how much I put. Not a lot to make sure to keep it in. And then I'm gonna press down. And I'm gonna set the timer for about four minutes. And then we'll check on it again. Here's the potato waffle. Um, it took about eight minutes. And I'm feeling like I liked me boiling and ricing it because it came out thicker. But I mean, this is more convenient. If you're in a hurry, you don't have time to do all that. Look at that. You've got, it almost looks like a latka minus the fixings, you know?